G'day, I'm live. Oh, I've got a... Hey, Reese. Are we live? Sorry about that. I had to turn the telly down. Gonna do a live painting. G'day, how you going? Welcome to me video here. Gonna do a live painting of um, a nice trees and some kind of um, foreground with some colorful trees and a colorful sky as well. So bear with me a minute. I'll just get started here while everyone comes into the room. Okay, there it is there. Oh. Oh, I'll go into here. I'm just putting the links in the description below because they're not there right at this stage yet, but they will be in a in a second or two. Um, paste. There we go. And when I finish the painting, I'll uh, put the um, colours that I've used also in the description below as well, so you can see what colours I've used. And uh, it's a sort of tutorial I like to do where you can watch the whole tutorial if you want to paint it. Paint along with it after you've watched it or practice some of those procedures and then paint along with it and um, see how you go from there. Um, a lot of people that are just getting into art, they might look at a tutorial and think, oh, well, I want to paint that and then they go ahead and paint it. Some people can and some people can't. For those of you who can't, it's just a matter of, well, you need to practice these procedures um, while you do it. Um, or before you do them, if you can't do them, practice them on some scrap paper or a canvas book, anything like that. And then you're ready to put things into a, um, what would you say, um, a full painting. Now I'm gonna move this. Let me just hear the sound check. Okay, the sound checks quite well. So while I'm at it, I'll just put it in my Facebook page as well. That way, anyone there wants to click onto it, they can. Come on, paste. There we go. Radio. So, I'll get back to the, here we go, we've got a few people there. I can close that off. Now I'm gonna just put this onto the other screen, just so I can see it better. There we go, look at that. Who we got here for an example? We've got Gloria, Jerry, Diane, Bruce, Robinson, Carol, Sherry, Julie, g'day everybody. Sorry about the beginning there, I had to, the, the TV was on in the other room there and it was very loud. So I had to go back out that way and get my son to turn it down. Uh, we've got Dave, good morning everybody and hello Ian and hello from Brisbane from Helen. Or is it Helen or Helena? Helena. We've got Alicia, Alicia, g'day Alicia, Fitzsimmons, David Cubbardy, hello from Lockport, New York. G'day all the way from Lockport and going gonzo, two hours in New York City, but very safe. All right, I've got a canvas panel here. It's 32 by 40 centimeters. Um, I'll put the size of that down below as well if I remember, but if I don't, well, I've set it on the camera anyway. I've got my coffee here. And like I've showed some people before, I have my little doodles there. One of those is what I'm going to paint. So we'll get something kind of original up here on the canvas. I'm just gonna grab a few things ready for the palette here. I've got my water tubs ready. Uh, I've got the towels over there. I've got my bare feet and wire. What else do I need for this painting now? Um, all right, where can I put that? Somewhere just down there will do. Little doodles I've done before, I'll show you. Just to get ideas of, um, for paintings. And then in my head, I know how I want to um, colour them up. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll bring you over here, uh, but I'll get the, uh, how big did I want the sky? A bit on, over halfway. So I'll get that there. Tammy, g'day Tammy. 
who is it? Timmy Kitty, hi from Hawaii, all the way from Hawaii. Good stuff. I'm gonna put some retarder in a, me um, flow white paint, the student paint, craft paint, okay? Uh, that's the brand I'm using in this video. Uh, this stuff, it looks like water or um, baby oil, uh, but it's not. And what it does, it's a medium you add to your acrylics and it just simply keeps your acrylics wet longer. They will take a lot longer time to dry. And doing skies the way I do, if you put this, these two onto your canvas first, you can paint a sky the exact same way I do. It won't look chalky or powdery or dry looking. It has that um, look the oil artist get, but using acrylics though. Okay, and I mix this up. Now some people talk about glycerin and use glycerin. You can, but it doesn't work exactly. It's same, same, but different, okay? And a glycerin can, once you put it onto your painting, it can move and still settle where this one doesn't. So I'm gonna bring you over here and bring you to the canvas there. I'll just move this screen so it's not disturbing people's vision as well. There we go. I've got to move that under there. Now, I want to tape up so I don't get the retarder on the bottom area. And I want top past me sky. How big do you want the sky? We'll bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down there, Gary. Hold about there, mate. Right yo. We'll hold it about, oh, about there. All right. So we've taped our horizon line off. And we're going to get that white craft paint now. Crisscross it into the two for your canvas. This is what's going to make a really nice sky for a beginner. Any beginner can do this. Okay, so what I normally do, I've crisscrossed it onto my canvas. Now I'm using a good cloth canvas here, artist quality canvas. I've crisscrossed it on there. I know that there's paint everywhere in it. Now I'm just going to stroke it backwards and forwards and get that nice and smooth. Now I won't be able to answer any questions in the chat as much as I do in my Friday night lives. I'll try when I see some, but just bear with me. This is one's all about painting today. Now what I normally do is wipe that, um, what do you call it, the brush. I've just wiped it on my towel, see? And then I'll come back here and we'll get some other colour paints, okay? Uh, g'day, Carol. What do I want? I want magenta. I'm an idiot. And Indian yellow and cerulean blue. Oh no, I might use um, phthalo blue. So I'll just get these onto the um, canvas palette there. Not canvas, the palette. <laughs> Get over there. Now I've got quinacridone magenta. I'm loving me Indian yellow. Love Indian yellow for the for these kind of skies. And I'm gonna grab <coughs> some phthalo blue. So I don't have a tube of phthalo blue at the moment, so I've got to use my tub. And for some reason. My knife has gone, there it is, all the way in the wrong bucket. So where are we? We can see what we're doing here. We'll grab some phalo blue. Okay. So, the bottom of the sky, we start with, I usually start with my yellow. This is going to be a nice painting, landscape painting when it's finished. I don't know how it's gonna look, but in my mind, I'm pretty sure I do. Jerry Powell, why don't you wet the canvas first time? Uh, because I'm putting the, my canvas is already gesso primed, and because I can show you, I've already put the white craft paint on there with the retarder. Now that top area, the bottom half hasn't been done, that's raw, okay? That's ready for me to paint the way I paint. And I want some, I'm going to have trees on the sides here. So I want my sky bits of yellowy like that. 
bit more down there. Now I'm going to wipe that brush, okay? Just wipe it. Okay. Now I want to stroke that business left to right. Why I've done it like that, <clears throat> I want it sort of that area in the sky splattered that way, you'll see. So now we're going to just lightly, with the tip of this brush, come up to there. We've got a nice concentrated piece in the middle here. Okay, now I'm going to wipe that. I will pick up the quinacridone magenta. And we'll probably put a little bit of that into here. Get that orangey purpley, not purple, that orangey colour going. Janice Burns, g'day Janice Burns, how are you going sweetheart? Hello from Odessa, Texas, Gloria, all the way from Texas. Now we're going to get some of this ready in there for, a bit in the yellow there as well. Okay, wipe the brush again. I'm just wiping it on a towel there. And I want to pull this through. Pull this through all that yellow. Look at that. Done. That's done. I feel I could... Um, where is the yellow? That's down there. It's still there. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Now I'm going to pick up the... Phalo blue, and we're going to get that snotted right into that red first over here, over here, and then pick up some more all the way up the top, because <clears throat> the brightness of the skies down on the horizon and the darker values all the way up the top. Get some scooting in the middle there as well. Now I'm going to dry that brush again. I'll not dry it, but I'm just wiping it on my rag here behind the camera. And we want to pull this now through the canvas. Now there's a lot of paint on my brush. I don't want to bring it all the way down into that red and everything. So I'm wiping it. Just wiping it like that. And we'll get that. There's going to be trees there, so I'm not too fussed at. It's the main... This main bit here is the um, going to be open. There's just a hint of our sunset there. Now what I'm going to do is grab a pouncer which is, uh, what size can I use? I'll probably use this size here, this size pouncer. And I want to grab some of the white now and just put some intensified white in the bottom bit there. So the white should, I want to intensify it. So our tape is here, so pretty much there. I want to intensify, so I'm going to Put this there, boom, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna dance that around and just bring it around now. On an oval shape, get it into all that paint there. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a brush and just soften the edges. I'm going really soft with that now, really, really soft. Okay. Now see these edges here, I've got a, a, one of my blending brushes I use from the hardware and I want to just dab that back into this red and yellow purpley colours here, okay? Now I'm going to wipe it, it's, it's building up with contaminated paint. Wipe it good. Now see here I want to do a bit more. Just dabbing it, stamping it, okay? And then I'll come across here. Just to soften it, make it sit down. Wipe it again, 
And I want to get rid of this line here. There we go. That's pretty much okay. Now we're going to whirl that to the blue bit of the um, sky by putting some clouds there. Uh, what do I mean by world <laughs> is um, where the two colours are meeting to hide that mess. I'm going to put some clouds there. I was using uh, Patsy just then. I was using the whole base of the um, blending brush, the whole foot of it. Where are we? Just to sit that down. Okay, they can go there. Uh, what am I after? Now I'm going to grab a fan brush, just a simple fan brush. And I'll, I'll, I'll put some clouds in the sky. And we need to... Where, where this is all meeting, because I'm going to have trees there. So I'm going to bring some linear ones from here first. Let's pick up a bit more first. Get some linear ones, bring across, bring across. I normally put these ones right down the bottom of the painting, and we'll see if we can get something on this side. Or is there, no, there's blue on that, lucky I checked. So I've got to wash that first, and before I do, I'll sit this cloud down. So from the bottom, I'm just going to lightly blend that down to the horizon line. Just like so, and wipe it. Now I'm just going to wash that blending brush. Well, not the blending brush, the um, fan brush. And I'll reload it again, ready for some more clouds. Now I won't worry about something there. I want to get something, to see where these two are joining. I want to put something there, stamp it on, and then just come up the painting, giving some kind of body of a cloud there. It's got all blue mixed in with it, all sorts, okay. Wipe that blending brush. Now I'm going to get the edge of it, that bottom edge there, the bottom corner edge right here and I'm going to hit that on that cloud just to give it its bum softly softly does it give it a bum there's its bum I just found it you you go in there you look for its bum you sit it down maybe another bit over here because the ones with bums on them are the ones over your head and then we're going to wipe it now watch what I do here I'm very lightly just using the actual flatness of the bottom and sometimes the corner you just turmoiling it real easy moving it around try not to wash it down into the painting because it's like wet on wet here and then this edge here we can pretty much blend that right off see i'm not blending hard and heavy it's the way i've conditioned the canvas with that craft paint that's allowed this cloud to do that we'll probably put something over here as well and i'm going to re-clean that brush the fan brush, reload him up again. I need some more white, I'm running out of white there. So I'll just bear with me a minute. We'll put some more white onto the palette. There we go. Oh, I just noticed my coffee there. I'm hanging out for a mouthful of that. Oh, I'm excited. Look at that coffee, my goodness. All right, now we'll put something about here as well. So pretty much the same thing stamp it on you can use any brush for this I've, I've always used fan brushes for some reason i don't know why up there billowing up to nothing see it's all mixed with that blue where did the blending brush go what did i do with the blending brush there it is all the way under there and you'll see how i've got them displayed from the middle so we're going to get the edge again try and find his bottom there's his bottom just like that see and then we're going to get the rest of it there's maybe a bottom here somewhere that'll do now touch it twist it turmoil it just sit it down into the sky give it some wispy cloud looking stuff that goes on don't worry it is a bit dull over there we're going to yummify that up and the yumminess 
just adds this is a bit weird I don't like that there we go the yumminess just adds the bullshit effect to your clouds I'm cleaning that brush again and we'll add some yumminess in there tell you what it's very get some white on it that's it maybe a bit in here just to put something in front of that there we go and we can probably get one just up here on his own watch this just something up there on his own okay Okay, now we'll do this one first. So this one's just one of those gap fillers floating around in the sky. We'll just twist him off there. All right, there we go. Done. And this yumminess. Now with the yumminess, you just want to sit it down, but leaving the vibrancy of it there. This is very wet today for some reason. Wipe the blending brush. <clears throat> and then keep sitting it down into there. Look at that. It's going to have trees up there. It's a little bit triangly for me, but not to worry. We've got something up here with yumminess. Wipe it. It's very, very wet. Get a bit more there. I'm just sitting it down, sitting it down into that cloud so it's not too much of a washed out blue cloud. It's got that white vibrancy there. Just don't like that. There we go, that'll do. That will do the sky. Uh, thank you very much, Patricia. Uh, there was a message there held for review. Uh, is the retarder that keeps that it fluid, Jane? Uh, that's what thing you wrote there. Was there another one held for review? No. <clears throat> Katie Coyne, Scotland has been taking in a heat wave. 200 degrees heat wave. Wow, that's no good. I'm just reading some comments there. A yaya. Tolbert, g'day. All praises to the Cloud King. <laughs> thank you very much. Hi, Katie. Uh, you are awesome painter. Thank you very much, Patricia. Beautiful clouds. Greetings from Mexico. All right. We can keep going with clouds until the cows come home. I'm pretty sure that's a good enough sky because we're going to have this with trees. So what I want to do now, I talked about this in Friday Night Live. You've got your your tape on and some people when they're pulling it off they're getting a ridge under their painting I'm going to pull that off okay I'll put that tape in the bin now there's a ridge there now my paint's still wet I'm going to just grab I don't know let's grab a little flat and just we'll just get rid of that that ridge okay use your finger use anything now I did say you could have went down lower than your horizon line that way you won't get a ridge there so I've just virtually gotten rid of that ridge in the paint there now I'm going to dry that it needs to be dry I'll get this out the way and then um we can put the rest on uh, what else did I want to do there I am going to do a bit of a foreground but I need I need this part of the sky dry so I can at least put my trees on without them turning into mud if I try putting um, my colored trees there it could go very muddy and I'll end up pulling my hair out so I'll give this a bit of a dry who else we got there Jerry Powell you've got a second you've got a second to that cloud praise perfect sky again Guy Galvin from Brisbane Australia um, and at the moment 29 degrees have a, a good to see you 
painting again, Ian. Thank you very much. And Randy McLean or McMacken. <laughs> Randy from Kansas. You are amazing, so inspiring. Keep on, mate. Thank you very much. You people are amazing too to keep me going here and others like me. It's fantastic. We all get the opportunity to share our talents and keep the world happy and entertained. It's great, eh? Oh, there's a long one. A real long one. I absolutely love your work all the way here in Philly. Must be Philadelphia. <clears throat> You're also an amazing teacher. Uh, and I have learned from you and I've followed a lot of people. But your teaching skills are awesome. Well, that's nice to hear. Thank you for that feedback. How's that going? I mean, this guy didn't quite, I'm being honest with you, it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. It's turned out okay though. There's me coffee. I'm just going to have a mouthful of me coffee here, get that pain out of the cup. Look at that, a bit of pain in there. Can you see that pain in there? Anyway, I'll drink from this side. Let's hope we've got none that side. Oh, oh. It's nearly cold, I don't want to neglect it. Oh. Oh. It's all gone. I'll put that over there. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, love your work. 4 a.m. in South Africa here. Yeah, we're all in different time zones. Um, now, I'm going to have to go and clean some brushes while I get my... <sighs> I've got to grab me um, my flogging bucket. <clears throat> uh, what I'll do, I'll bring you back here. So we've done that part. <clears throat> Come over there. I've just got to wash these brushes that I've used, the big ones. Otherwise they'll munt up on me. Don't want that to happen. And I've got a bucket there, I can give him a severe flogging. So bear with me a moment. This is the fundamentals of live videos. You get to watch everything happen. Nothing's edited out. I've done me pouncer. Of course it's live. I've got to wash these out now. I don't want them to sit there and go a little bit hard. And that one's a bit dirty too. All right, uh, what I do, then we've got a bucket here for sticking it. Give it a severe flogging. That gets all the water out of it. And I've got a towel here on the bench. Pretty much keeps the bench protected as well because I paint inside. All right, back over here. Now, believe it or not, let me wipe my hands first. I'll just show you, 28 minutes we've been going for. I am surprised South Africa is only one hour ahead of us. Uh, yeah, well, for those of you who don't now, do you use paint thinners? No, I do not. I've got water-based enamels here. For those of you who don't know, the timeline from north and south goes north and south, so, and they're all hour increments. This one here, where are we? That's what I'm trying to, where are I? That's what I'm trying to make, if you can make sense of that. I've got plenty of other ideas there. That's one that I've already done, the waterfall one. Um, now we're gonna do, how can I do this? Uh, I want trees there, so I'm going to get the black gesso. I'll put that down there. And I'm gonna black all this in now, because it's gonna have a path as well and some stones all sorts of lovely things so down here we'll get some black gesso enough to paint the bottom in is that black yeah so we need it black to get our depth so i'm just gonna 
quickly blacken that up. I'll get my paintbrush a little bit more damp because I want that to flow. I better put the camera up on the canvas here so you can see what I'm bloody doing. Nothing worse when you go live and I do it, I've seen other people do it. We always sometimes forget to move the camera if we're working on our own. Some people are lucky enough to have other people there helping them, but I'm not that lucky. Right, we'll just get in this. So we've pretty much done a sky. So when you watch this tutorial, do your sky the way you want, whether you wanted a cool sky or a warm sky, sunset or a daytime sky. Do your sky, give it more sky than ground. The horizon line's a bit under halfway. Okay, and that's that, just brushing it nice and neat. Now, mix that up a bit. What I want to do now, I have my, why? Huh? Who is it? Oh, can you just hang on a minute? Are you, um... Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, I've got to leave. Something's just happened, so I'll be back later on. It's nothing bad, but I've just got to sort some stuff out. So I'll be back later. Sorry about this.